Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hybrid Network and yet another Dragon Ball discussion. Today was a special topic that I wanted to bring up in due part to the fact that pretty soon we're going to be seeing our favorite Z warriors battle it out against a multitude of powerful warriors from a multitude of universes, all for the sake of saving their own universe from imminent destruction. Last week I did a topic on why I thought the human characters, namely Tian Shin Han, Master Roshi, and Krillin deserve to be a part of the Universe 7 roster, to which people seem to have a genuinely positive response to. So I figured I'd stick with the topic of the team, but this time identifying who is potentially the most dangerous and or self-destructive member of the team. And believe it or not, it isn't Vegeta, it's Goku. First and foremost, let me give a quick shout out to Tim, one of us over here on the Hybrid Network, for giving me this idea. You can check him out on the MCU videos and on the countdown videos as well. He did a great one on Krillin last week, so go check that out, please. Anyway, to the topic at hand, Goku. Is he the biggest threat to Universe 7? Well, maybe. Look, it's no secret that Goku Goku is a bit of a single-minded character. It's been an integral part of who he is since the very beginning of the series. He likes to fight and he likes to get stronger. This is all just run-of-the-mill aspects of who Goku is, and this isn't to diminish Goku's accomplishment in the series either. Not at all. Goku has saved the world countless times. He's battled cataclysmic threats and powerful warlords, and he's always managed to come out on top. Goku is the main character of the series, and his contribution and his character are what drive the series forward. However, it's worth it to note his characterization in Super is... Um, just a little bit more dumb. Yeah, it's hard to look past how much of a dimwit Goku's kind of been shown as in the new show. Granted, Goku's never been the brightest bull, but I never really thought he'd be considered stupid. It was more that he was just simple. Super, on the other hand, kind of elevates it to a whole new level, with Goku just straight out forgetting important information out of the blue. Multiple times, I might add. So it all comes down to this. Is Goku's one-track mind, carefree attitude, and just straight up stupid nature a great threat to the universe? Because, I mean, when you really break it down, Goku's usually oblivious to the overall threat that a fight takes on, especially if a tournament were to be involved. You can just look at his behavior during the Cell games. Granted, he was pretty confident that Gohan could beat Cell, but the fact that he didn't at least take his fight with Cell as seriously, considering the fate of the entire planet was on the line, seems just kind of reckless in nature. Which isn't completely out of Goku's character, but it's something worrying in the very least. Everyone else on the team can feel the gravity of a situation perfectly well, from Vegeta to Pick and I'm sure they all recognize the dire scenario in store for them going into the multiversal tournament, but Goku's more carefree nature and just love of fighting I think hinders the team more than anything in this. Yeah, he fights to win, but he needs to fight as if the universe is at stake, and one has to wonder if Goku is capable of that. And if it's not his drive in battle, it could once again come down to his utter incapability to remember the most crucial of information that would be highly beneficial to remember. But in the end, that's just me. What's really important here is what you you guys have to say. Let me know in the comments down below, do you think Goku is more of a liability than he is a help to the universe at this point? I don't know, maybe you got one too many punches to the noggin, but I mean, I'm more interested to see what you guys have to say. Make sure you like this video, and go ahead and subscribe to the Hybrid Network to stay all up to date on our videos as they come out. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll catch you next time on the next Dragon Ball Discussion. Stay tuned!